Another Friday, finally. No gym clothes today because I already did my run. Got a busy day. Let's get to the goals update. I currently weigh 184 pounds, and honestly this week was hard for me to control my diet. Some days I was just pretty hungry, and there were challenges with my current job that influenced me to want to have some comfort food. I did do okay, but it was a hard week food-wise. As for running this week, run with Hal dialed it back some, so I did three miles on Monday, one hour swim on Tuesday, four miles on Thursday, and my long run on Saturday was five miles, which is one mile less this week than last week. I know with some running programs, every few weeks or so, it takes it down a level for recovery. So this is week three, I'm guessing that's why. As for goal three, well, clearly, so far, still okay. For upcoming videos, we're hoping to have a little more training content as the weather warms. We'll run some different trails for y'all, hopefully capture some good footage, uh, possibly a little bit of hiking, and of course, we've got races coming. Speaking specifically about races, as you're watching this today, Stacy and myself are running one this weekend. We have a 5K and a half marathon. We're doing both. So look forward to that content next Friday. As for this week, I wanted to talk more about my diet, specifically my caloric intake. As I've mentioned before, I'm using the Lose It app to help me, but this isn't a review. I only chose this app due to it being recommended by a friend, or technically I was told to. Long story short, I have a friend who, about a year ago, lost a bunch of weight. I told him I wanted a support group to help keep me accountable, and would like him to help with that. He told me, Go get Lose It and send him screenshots. So that's what I did. I don't think Lose It does anything better than any other apps that help you count calories such as MyFitnessPal or honestly a meticulously kept food diary. So if you're planning to follow what works for me, then use whatever app you choose. They're all the same. I'm also not doing any specific diet. As I've mentioned in my first video, I'm just doing a caloric deficit. I'll dive a little bit more into that in a few minutes, but I wanna be clear, I'm not doing low carb or Mediterranean or anything similar. I do try to be veggie friendly, that's what I call it. I do eat meat, but I try to limit it to one meal a day or just a few times a week. It's just a personal thing. So why not a specific diet? Honestly, the recommendation for what you're supposed to eat seems to be ever changing. And every diet out there tries to sell you on why it's healthy. But historically for me, the one thing I can count on working is a deficit. With a deficit, I can eat what I want. I just can't eat much of it. There are days where I want a donut. Mmm, donuts. Yes, if you can't tell, donuts are in my top five best foods ever. And with a deficit, I can have a donut. But it does mean I need to sacrifice possibly a meal or a coffee with cream to have one. Sometimes hard decisions just have to be made. Now I'm not on a strict I can only eat so many calories a day, no matter what. First, the app gives me cheat weekends. So on weekends, I can have a few more calories. My cheat weekends right now are about 1900 calories, which is still restricting, but I'm learning to make the most of it. The allowed extra calories on weekends does, I think, help keep me for the most part on track. When I first started tracking calories with my weight, I was allowed to eat about 2,200 calories on weekends and 1,900 on weekdays. So it wasn't too bad. Now I do actually try to get as close to the limit as I can. Take it to the limit. When my goal was 1,900, I could easily just eat 1,600 and see quicker results and be even more hungry also. But I believe that actually eating as close to what I'm told to is a good thing. Now there's no science that I'm aware of out there to prove this. Once again, it's just my personal opinion. You guys can Google. But if I eat to as close as possible to what my limit is, I won't go into a binge just because I've been restricting myself so much. Second, the app is designed to make me lose weight. If I can eat 1900 calories a day and lose weight, why wouldn't I? 
I'm trusting the app. But the biggest reason is I'm still working out. And training while on a deficit, I need fuel to not burn muscle off. I know the running is doing that a little bit, but last thing I need is to be in starvation mode and burning that extra fuel. As for my training, the app does give me bonus calories on days I work out, hit a specific calorie burn, which on most run days I do. I'll be honest, this helps a lot. There are times where I look forward to a run just because it may allow me that extra 200, 300 calories, which is a donut, on top of whatever else I'm allowed to eat. Now my app makes me burn about 2,500 calories a day before it awards this bonus. And I currently burn about 1,900 to 2,000 a day just in default mode due to my desk job. So my run or whatever workout needs to burn an extra 500. From what I can tell, and I don't know for sure, but once I do burn that extra amount and get to the bonus, it doesn't give me a one to one ratio. It seems to be a one to two ratio, meaning for every two calories burned, I get one more. So overall, it keeps me in a deficit to allow me to lose weight, but this doesn't actually seem all that bad. On days when I do a long run and burn 900 calories, the bonus is about 400, and that puts me at a little over 2,300 on the weekends. Now, because of this, last Friday, after my seven mile run, I was able to still eat a modest breakfast of a little over 500 calories, have a small snack of some fruit, and then eat a whole pizza for dinner. Who's gonna? And still be under my limit. Just barely, but I was under my limit. And yes, I ate an entire large pizza for dinner and half a slice of somebody else's too. It wasn't great fuel, but it was a cheat day. For those of you currently wondering, right now, I'm at about 1,650 calories a day during the weekday. I still need to burn 2,500 for the bonus. And yes, honestly, it is getting harder. On days when I'm not scheduled to run, I am tempted to do a run just to get more food. And then the Running With Howl app will yell at me. I don't care what they say about me, I just wanna eat. I am really, really looking forward to when I get to my goal weight, which is about nine pounds to go. And I can go right into that maintain mode, which should be the normal 1,900 to 2,000 calories a day. But of course the challenge will be then not to get carried away like I did before and just start overeating. If any of you are on your own weight loss goal, with or without working out, I would love to hear what method you choose and how it worked out for you. I don't think there's a best way to lose weight. All methods have positive and negatives, and I know some work faster than others, but no matter how we choose to go about losing weight, we are all working on the same goal. Please like, subscribe, and as always, stay safe and keep pushing. Next week is race weekend, first one of the year, and I might actually have a donut. My lighting is off. I'm gonna look like orange. My you need bad. to be able to see the reflection off the dome. Right.